Hello guys, welcome to the second lecture on cell culture in chemostat. So today we are going to have a brief discussion on oxygen utilization rate and oxygen transfer rate. So suppose you have a chemostat or you have a fermenter. This is the fermenter and you get and you, you give oxygen at a certain rate. So the rate at which you uh, transfer oxygen to this culture media is called as oxygen transfer rate or OTR. Okay. And now in this culture vessel, you have microbial cells which are cultured. So they will utilize this oxygen for performing their various metabolic activities. So the rate with which they utilize the oxygen uh, which you have supplied is called as oxygen utilization rate or OUR. All right. So and these two are very much important. Now, oxygen transfer rate, the rate at which you transfer oxygen to the culture vessel is given as KLA into C star minus CL, where KLA, this is a actually a constant. Now, KLA, if you look carefully, it is actually a multiplication of two constants, KL and A. Now, KL is called as this is the KL and if you multiply it with A you get KLA. Now KL is actually the mass transfer coefficient which has a dimension of length. Okay. So mass transfer coefficient KL which has a dimension of length and A is actually the area interfacial area or the area at the liquid and the gas interface. So this is actually the area. Now if you multiply length with area you get volume. That is why KLA is often referred to as volumetric mass transfer coefficient. So KL is actually the mass transfer coefficient and A is actually the interfacial area or the area at the liquid and the gas interface where mass transfer takes place. Now if you multiply these two you get KLA which is called as volumetric mass transfer coefficient and KLA is often treated as one constant instead of two. And C star is the maximum saturated concentration of oxygen that is the maximum concentration at which uh, the, the, it is the maximum concentration of oxygen which can be supplied to the culture vessel. Beyond that, it will become saturated with oxygen and no more further increase in oxygen can be added to the culture vessel. And CL is the concentration of oxygen at a, part, at a particular instant of time in the culture vessel. So CL, C star minus CL is actually the driving force or the concentration difference that is there in the culture vessel. As long as this difference passes, you can supply oxygen at a particular rate to the culture vessel. Okay. So, if you multiply this driving force or the concentration difference with the volumetric mass transfer coefficient KLA, you get the oxygen transfer rate. That is the rate at which oxygen is transferred. It is abbreviated as OTR. Okay. Now, you have another term called as the oxygen utilization rate, that is the rate at which oxygen is utilized by the microbial cells in the culture plate. Now, OUR is actually QO2 into X, where QO2 is the specific rate of oxygen uptake. QO2 is actually the specific rate of oxygen uptake and X is actually the cell mass concentration. So, this is the specific rate of oxygen uptake, QO2. This is actually the 
what I have written is QO2. So QO2 is actually the specific rate of oxygen uptake and uh, X is the cell mass concentration. Uh, so if you multiply QO2 with X, you get oxygen utilization rate. Now if you remember in the first lecture we have written for growth associated products, we have written QP is written as Y PX Y PX into mu G where mu G is actually the specific growth rate. Now Y PX Y P X is actually minus delta P by delta X. This we have already discussed in the previous lecture. If you don't know, please go through my previous video. You will understand. Okay. So if I take reciprocal on both sides, Y P X. So 1 by Y P X. Is actually can be written as minus of delta x by delta p. Okay. Delta x by delta p. And this can be written as y x p. Okay. So P here in this case is O2 here. So it is actually Y X O2. Now, so QP from 1 we can write it as QP is actually mu G by yxp because yxp is actually the reciprocal of ypx all right and p here the product that we are concerned here is oxygen so it can be written as mu g by yxo2 okay so this is the specific thing so now you can put this here in place of QO2 you can write it as uh, mu g by y x o2 into x so this is actually y uh, it is actually QO2. Okay. In place of QO2, you can write it as mu G by Y X O2 into X. So this is the oxygen utilization rate. So at equilibrium, the rate at which you transfer oxygen should be equal to the rate at which you oxygen is utilized by the microbial cells. So at equilibrium, we have mu G into X by Y X O2 is equal to KLA into C star minus CL. So this is very important. This is only possible at equilibrium. Okay, this relationship is only valid at equilibrium. So now let us see heat generation of by microbial growth. So sometimes what happens during microbial growth in a cultural vessel, heat is also generated. Okay, it may be an exo exothermic reaction. So let us see. Suppose you supply substrate and you give oxygen to the culture vessel. So substrate will be utilized or consumed by the microbial growth. Substrate will be burnt and it will produce carbon dioxide and water along with generation of new microbial cells or new bacterial cells. Now these microbial cells or bacterial cells can also undergo combustion. That means they will undergo say suppose respiration microbial cells will respire and, the, and that way these microbial cells will also produce a heat which is called as delta hc so in this way by combustion also the microbial cells also produce co2 and h2o 
So CO2 and H2O are the final products. They are produced from both the substrate by combustion of the substrate as well as they are produced from combustion of microbial cells. So CO2 and H2O, this is the final product that we get by combustion of substrate as well as the combustion of microbial cells. So the relationship that we have is delta S, delta Hs by Yxs is equal to delta Hc plus 1 by Yh where delta a is the word delta s is the heat of combustion of the substrate okay so delta s here this thing is the heat of combustion of the substrate y axis is the substrate yield coefficient in grams of cells per gram of substrate delta hc this is the delta hc delta hc is the heat of combustion of microbial cells and 1 by yh this this is another coefficient it is it is the metabolic heat evolved per gram of cell uh, per gram of cell mass produced it is in kilojoules per gram of cell so 1 by yh is, yh is the metabolic heat evolved per gram of microbial cells produced so kg per gram of cells so the total heat that is generated in microbial cell culture is qgr QGR is the total heat is equal to VL into mu net into X into 1 by YH where VL is the liquid volume, mu net is the net specific growth rate, X is the cell mass concentration and 1 by YH as we have already discussed this thing is the metabolic heat evolved per gram of microbial cells produced. So QGR is the total heat. So these two equations, these two uh, the relationships you need to remember you do not need you uh, need to have any derivations here because questions will be asked on gate uh, specifically will get some maths uh, and some problem sums on these equations so you basically need to remember this and you need to remember the concept that is enough and you need to remember the what terms do the uh, the meaning of each terms that is enough for gate uh, for bioprocess engineering from this part in gate biotechnology